Welcome back to the Mike Will Experiment. Today, I am here to drop the complete review of the Nintendo World Championships NES Edition. Now, this game was reviewed very quickly by reviewers, and they really came at it like a single-player game and sort of compared it to NES Remix, and in reality, it's not a whole lot like NES Remix. Um, it's similar in that it's bite-sized content, um, but what reviewers I feel like got wrong with this game and why I'm dropping the complete review is they didn't really talk about what we're looking at here, which is the actual Nintendo World Championships. You know, when I first saw this game, I thought, okay, well, they took NES Remix and they reskinned it to basically be, you know, take advantage of the, the hype of the rare NES World Championships cartridges, right? The angry video game nerd hype, all of this hype surrounding this rare game that came in both gray and gold, and the gold one's more rare, and it's got the dip switches on it, and you guys know what I'm talking about here. So I thought in my mind, when I saw the trailers of this game, and I'm sure this is what the reviewers thought, I thought, well, hey, this game, um, it, mu it must be that it's just a reskin of NES Remix. It's not, though. So I'm going to kind of go into it. What these challenges are here for, they're not here for your single-player enjoyment, okay? This is a speedrunner's game. Okay, this game is for people that like to speedrun. I happen to actually like to speedrun myself quite a bit. Um, that's something that, that I enjoy doing. Um, and so this game was right up my alley. Um, great, great speedrunning. Um, as you can see, I'm not the best. You know, I haven't gone through and s everything yet. Um, that sounded weird. <laughs> but what I will say is I think people got it wrong. You know, they thought that this... This, this was the game, right? Oh, this must be the game. It's not, right? This is the training ground for you to improve your skills, to take it to the next level. I honestly don't... I mean, I've done some of these, but I don't want to burn out on them, so I wait for them to come into the World Championships, and then I go practice them there, which is why I don't have all this unlocked. I just I don't have the desire, um, you know, to have all this stuff unlocked. I did... What did I get the three times? What's this one? Yeah, participate in the World Championships three times, so I've done that. Um... So like I said, and I think this is what, top 20%? Uh, where is that? Yeah, top 20%. I did rank top 5% and didn't get a medal for it, and I was pretty annoyed. And I'll show you guys that finish here. Um, but you get all these medals, again. But this can be gotten when you're just playing the World Championships. I don't recommend unlocking all of this stuff. I think if you went through and you unlocked all of this stuff, you'd go, man, this game's a 7 out of 10. It's just okay. Um... And that's what all the reviews said. That's what the Metacritic score was. The reviewers lied to us on this one a little bit, though. Because they didn't have time to see all of these competitions go down. None of these happened during the the review period, you know, after the embargo lifted. You know, these people that got the game a week early, two weeks early, they didn't get this. This wasn't going. And, you know, maybe that's to Nintendo's detriment here. Maybe Nintendo should have had a zero competition so they could have tried it. Maybe they did. Let me know if you participated or you can talk about it, but... I don't think they did, um, because no, I didn't hear a single reviewer really talk about this or show the results. Um, so if you've seen other reviews of this, this still will be a very useful um, review for you to watch. Now, um, I want to talk about this page here. This is it. This is the game, okay? The game is, and I don't know if you guys remember the original NES, re uh, not NES Remix, but NES Championship Edition, the original one, it was like, three games. It was like Tetris and Mario and then Ice Climber. I can't remember what the games were, but this is the format, right? There's a little different, though, with, with the original World Championships, which they don't really have that mode on here, which is one of the complaints in the review, which is a valid complaint. They don't have the original World Championship mode that you can participate in that was on the original game where you're, you're competing in multiple events for one score. Um, that's not what's happening here. These are all individualized events. So what you're, what you're going to see is you're just going to see a score, um, the amount of players. These are my scores. Now, if you go at the recent results, which is what I want to show you guys. So after each um, competition ends, it's on a weekly turn. It's kind of like a game as a service. Again, it wasn't really advertised very well. And beyond that, the reviewers didn't do any justice. So what I'm telling you is this is the game. Don't worry about all that crap that was talked about in other reviews. Where they're talking about, oh, there's all these little mini games, but they're not... You know, reskin, they're not this, they're not that. Because that wasn't the point. It's not NES Remix, okay? It's this. So, um, what it is, is you have these mini games. Now, this is the one I ranked top 5%, which surprised the heck out of me. I didn't think I would. So, when you get your results, this gives you the release date of the game. 
um, it gives you uh, your world ranking, and there's a top five percent. All right, so that's basically oops, that's basically. I don't want to show my birth year, so I'm going to close that out. But that's basically how that works. Okay, um, we'll go look at another one. I'll have to close it out because I don't want to show my birth year on there. Um, but then there's another category that will show your birth year, and it gives you another drop down. But I, this is a all one take type video, so we're not going to be doing that. Um, you know, uh, but it loads up pretty quickly. Okay, so anyways, this is the current challenges again. This tells you every time you log in, um, and then so recent results. So we'll go back to that one real quick just so you guys can see it. I wasn't sure if it like transitioned on its own or not, so I jumped out of it real quick. This is my run. Okay, so you can kind of see where I rank around other players. Always proud to be a lot around a lot of my what appears to be Japanese brethren. That's awesome. Um, that's always makes me happy. But yeah, so um, you know you got the top five percent there. Two five seven one. Total players five one eight five two. So that's a top. That's my best finish. Surprised on this one because I know you can get sub six on this. I saw it done, so I didn't think this ranking would be this high. It was actually a shocking surprise. Um, I, I just didn't think, you know, I I'm not the best Zelda player, so I would have thought the one I would have got would have been the Donkey Kong one, and that one wasn't even close. Uh, but what you can do there in the end is you can click through. Um, and it will even give you the opportunity to uh, see the world record run. Um, and that's basically the deal there. So you can see the world record runs at the end. Um, recent champion replays. I think this is just... Oh, here we go. I can show you just the world champion replays. Yeah, here's the the 5. Yeah, 5.33 second. This is the one that beat... You know, th this is the actual world record. So what's cool is you get to go and see how they did it, right? Well, I looked at this one and I'm like, he really got lucky. So what happens here is this, where this guy spawns in the water, um, is random, uh, each time you, you reset it. So you have to get lucky into which you have to hit, make sure you're hitting it. And so there's a little bit of luck involved in this one. So, you know, and it kind of shows you their movements there too. So if you wanted to emulate this, um, and try to get this time in your single player version of the game, you would totally be able to do that. Um, we'll look at another one. This is the one that's, that really surprised me is the barrel roll run because I thought I had it in the bag. And I didn't realize there's a glitch on this level. Watch. Yeah, see, there's a glitch. And so you can actually go up this other side. So if you don't know this, you're basically... I'm not sure had a shot at it, but guess what? He was probably the only one that figured it out or one of a handful of people and got the best time. So that's kind of, you know... <laughs> It's always interesting to see that stuff. Uh, what else is interesting here? Oh, this this run. I can't even hold this guy. This run is amazing. Watch this run. Look at this. Incre if you tried this one, you'll know what I mean. Incredible run. No cheating there. Not cheating, but no glitching. Um, last week, there was one with glitching, too, which kind of annoys me because it means the people that know the glitch have an upper hand. But again, that's how these things go. They're speedruns. Speedrunners are going to have the advantage. Um... And it says world rankings and birth year rankings, as I mentioned. You can replay them as many times as you want. Now, if I want to enter, I can enter. And we'll do... What is one that I actually remember how to do it? This one's good. Um, so, this is a, just basically... You're fighting Aquamenus. Um, and... Uh, you have to, whoops. So, you can also start over with l and R. I'm not too used to the Pro Controller here. I've been playing with Joy-Cons. I... I would think this would be a little bit better. But you just basically keep doing your run until you're, you know, you get one that you like. I actually have 4.35, which is an S run. No, this is not an S run. <laughs> and then, you know, it rewinds you if you want to practice too. Um, that's great for the single player, but not so great for the championship. Um, you don't really want to have any of that. If you want any chance of getting through it, you don't want to use any of the rewinds. Ugh. So I think it's the middle of that crack I keep sitting here trying to do a review and play the game at the same time that is not it either i wanted to do one decent run on this on this video but there we go that's what i wanted ah not the best run but you can see it's in that you know a plus range so 
That's basically how you do it. Not my best run. I'm probably not great whilst trying to talk about a game at those. But you get the idea. Um, you can see your recent results. This is the game, though. So, you know. It's not a lot to talk about other than this. I mean, that's the thing. Should this have been a Switch Online game that you didn't have to pay real money for? Maybe. But then again, you would have had to subscribe to own this game. So it's, it's sort of like a catch-22, right? If they'd have made this a Switch Online game, it'd have been great, but as soon as they decided to get rid of it, like they did with Mario 35, um, it would be gone, so that's not really ideal, um, honestly. I, 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 For me, I feel like, you know, if they really wanted to, you know, make it, I don't know, more, more interesting, but we'll just say that if you have a desire for speed running, you know, for me, um, this is great. If you like, you know, Mario Maker speed running, if you like, um, just like playing a game and speed running it. I like small speed runs, micro speed runs. So this game really hits my sweet spot as far as speed runs. I don't like, like this, for example, is a little long for me. Like I like maybe a 10 second or less challenge. And the reason for that is I'm a time manager. I like to manage my time and I feel like you waste a lot less time and you can get better at it quicker. Maybe it's because my memory is short. I don't know, but I prefer the 10 seconds. I feel like you can analyze the frames easier. Um, that's just me, though. You know, everybody's going to have their different, you know, strengths and weaknesses when it comes to speed runs. Um, but with all that said, that's all there is here. You know, should it have been a Switch Online game? Maybe, but then it would be gone. At least this will be around forever. Um, sort of. It's a game as a service, so... Again, at least you don't have to have a Switch Online membership. But I don't know. It's, it's one of those things where it's, it's kind of like... I, maybe it should have been free, you know? Um, not free overall, but maybe free with the Switch Online... Oops. Free with the Switch Online membership. Um, but either way, I think that a 7 out of 10 is unfair to rate this game um, because of the single-player aspects. Because in reality, that's not why you're here. Um, you're here for this weekly challenge and that part is very very satisfying There's also this survival mode, which I won't go into too much detail about because I don't feel like it adds too much value um, This is more I guess like the traditional what a um, It still isn't really like it though. It isn't the original one, but this is more like what the NES World Championship cartridge had on it, you know, it was, you did three so this is more like what I was discussing earlier, but it's not its not the same three games from that original cartridge, so therefore it's not really... It's not that it's not relevant, it's just not the same. Um, it's just random, it's not the same ones. So it's, it's cool, I guess, but I didn't really dig this mode that much. I, re I vastly prefer the, you know, the individual... Um, the individual World Championship mode, but... What did you think of this game? Let me know in the comments below. But our final score for this game is going to be an 8 out of 10. That is what I decided to go with on this game. I think it was a little shortchanged because the reviewers rushed it out to get out the news cycle. So if you were thinking maybe these reviews seemed odd, I was kind of trying to clear up what this game is. Let me know in the comments below if you're enjoying the complete review. And I hope you all are having a great day.